Is it time to move on from Zion? Molly, I said this last year that it was time for the Pelicans to move on from Zion Williamson. Okay, you can't trust them. Now, here we are a year later, and guess what? The reason that the Pelicans are trying to move on from him is because of food and his off-the-court issues when it comes down to Zion and what's been transpiring over the last month. And when I say, when I bring up food, we talk about Zion Williamson and we talk about him being healthy. Well, part of his health, we talk about this all the time. It's his diet. When, he's go- when is he going to get in shape? If sometimes he comes into training camp, he is in shape. And guess what? He's not able to sustain that. So what is he doing when he leaves the practice, fa- practice facility? And there's no coincidence that all of a sudden we get to this point and all of a sudden we're hearing about the, the Pelicans possibly are wanting to move on from Zion. It's no coincidence. They've been on social media. We all have. We've been seeing all the reports and all the rumors and everything that's been going on for Zion and the NBA lifestyle that he couldn't adjust to or couldn't say no to. So if I'm the Pelicans with the young group of guys that I have in place, I have a nice culture. I have a nice coach in Willie Green. I have a veteran in C.J. McCullough. I would not jeopardize that for Zion Williamson, and I know – He's a generational talent, but he's a generational talent that we can't trust. First off, Perk, let me say, if I was Zion, I would would get some kind of restraining order, first off. You ain't going to be saying all that stuff about me in public, like, I'm done. All I'm going to say, and I'll I'll leave that to be that, because that that, that does not need to be out there. Um, Number two, what I will also say is that you are right. There are challenges that come along with Zion Williamson and the fact that he has weight issues. One of the issues with that, though, is the way that when Zion Williamson came into the New Orleans team, they acquiesced. They gave him way too much clout for a guy who was a rookie. You've seen David Griffin and company try to retract and bring that back and set a standard. The reality, and I've heard this from multiple people around the organization, is that people don't question whether Zion Williamson loves the game of basketball. Sometimes they question whether he's in love with the process that comes with being great. We heard Kobe Bryant and other players, Michael Jordan, love the process, the work that goes into being great. If Zion Williamson wants to be a New Orleans Pelican, I don't see how you trade him away. And what I will say is, Perk, in 114 games in which he's played in four seasons, which is alarming, I understand, and he's only played 10 games with C.J. McCollum and Brandon Ingram when they're collectively on the court together. But when they are, Perk, they are one of the best teams in the Western Conference. And when I hear this talk around we're going to trade him and try to move up in the draft for Scoot Henderson, I love Scoot Henderson. But I firmly, from just being an evaluator of talent, and we all have misses in this game. Some of the best executives in the world have misses. But when you're looking at her, are you going to tell me that Scoot Henderson's ceiling is higher than Zion Williamson's ceiling? The brother is averaging 26 points per game, seven and a half rebounds, four and a half assists. He is a generational type talent. And if you can understand the upside and get him to buy in, he has to want to buy in. Now, if you're telling me he doesn't want to buy in, if you're telling me that he does not want to be there, then you make that move if you're David Griffin. But I'll, I hope that they treat this the same way they kind of treated Joel Embiid, who was plagued with injuries, because I think the upside of what the Pelicans can be with Zion is way different than where it is without him. Oh, my God, Jay Will. Listen. I believe it. First first thing is this. I actually played under David Griffin for a year, okay? And the one thing I know about Griff is that he does an excellent job of protecting his players, meaning keeping things in-house meaning controlling the media, controlling the PR, making sure certain things doesn't get out. Now, Mm -hmm. we can speculate and we can have insiders and we can have our sources that know certain things that goes on inside the organization, but if if they are willing, which they are, to move on from Zion Williamson, imagine the things that we don't know that's going on behind the scenes. And don't come giving me about they gave him too much clout too early. I'm not trying to hear none of that for the simple fact that he was the number one pick. He was the most hyped up player since LeBron James. 
and he has to hold himself to the standard. They didn't give him too much clout when they gave him almost $200 million. Did Jordan give him too much clout when he signed that massive deal, shoe deal was, with all the endorsement deals? That's part of it, of, be, of being the number one pick. Here's the thing that, that bothers me as well. When we talk about Zion and we talk about his weight and him being available, I was a guy that actually had weight issues. I was a guy that actually had to have some type of discipline. Uh oh. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.